quick video here to give you a basic idea on x-rays and radiation in general. Also, hopefully we'll be clearing up some misconceptions out there. So get ready because after this video, you no longer will be a sheep in the earth. Now, there's this thing called the electromagnetic spectrum. It's made out of wavelengths that range from radio waves all the way up to gamma rays and x-rays. X-rays come right before gamma rays on the spectrum, which makes them pretty high on frequency and low on wavelengths. Now, what does that exactly mean? Okay, now let's geek out. Everything on this side of the spectrum is relatively okay, it's safe. But as you go further down that road, everything on this side of the spectrum is kind of dangerous. That includes UV rays, x-rays, and gamma rays. Generally speaking, radiation affects highly mitotic cells, aka cells that are constantly dividing. That's why skin cancers happen all the time. It's more prone to get affected by radiation in comparison to, for example, nerve cells. Nerve cells don't regenerate. Nerve cells don't divide. That's why they're not going to get affected by radiation as much as other cells that are constantly divided. On a yearly basis, you receive an average of three millisieverts of something called background radiation. Totally normal, by the way. Now, 80% of that comes from natural sources. Now, the remaining 20% comes from man-made radiation sources, primarily x-rays. So yeah, unless you want to evacuate the planet, there's no way you can escape a bit of radiation in your life. And even up there, it might be worse. Mama, رايح أقعد لي يومين كده على كوكب زوحة اللي عايزة حاجة. All right, so to put things in perspective, 80 security scans at the airport equal to one day of natural background radiation. The four byte wing radiographs at the dentist is about 0.005 millisieverts, which is less than one day of natural background radiation. So basically health risks from getting a few x-rays every now and then are minimal, if not negligible even. All right, now let's have a quick chit chat about some frequently asked questions out there. Pergunta numero uno. Fado. According to the FDA, there are no known adverse effects from eating food, drinking beverages, or using medicines screened by x-rays. That's because the radiation dose typically received by objects scanned by a cabinet x-ray system is 0.01 millisieverts, or even less, which is a very small amount. Whether you're pregnant or not, the general rule is to go with the ALARA principle, as low as reasonably achievable. But having that said, according to the TSA, scanners use low levels of radiation, which is safe even for a pregnant woman. All right, peeps and geeks, that's a wrap. Uh, make sure to subscribe to get notified about my content. If you like this, please thumb it up and go tell your friends about it, perhaps. Thanks for watching. .005 millisieverts, which is less than one day of natural background radiation. Why are you f closing?